Alright, brought that you how it brought that how it's high, brought that you how it brought that how it's high, cow fly you how it brought that how it's high, 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 brought and those in line of thinner go back on the twelve tribe of Israel due to the scattered amongst the nations. All right. Now, um, yeah, those guys talking about um, God love everybody, you know, that's not the case. All right. They only um, dealing with the uh, nation of Israel, the children of Israel. All right. You ain't dealt with all these other different nations. All right. We ain't dealing with the uh, so-called Arabs, the Africans, all right, the Chinese, the Japanese, all right, the uh, East Indian, all right. We ain't dealing with none of those heathen uh, nations, all right. Only the children of Israel, but on a deeper level on, on that, and it's still only the elect of Israel. But at the end of the day, it's still Israel, all right, no other nation, okay. And I'm going to start off on um, Isaiah 40 and 15. Behold, the nation are as they drop a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he take it up the hour as a very little thing. All right. So they're, they're nothing. All right. It's basically as a grain of thin. All right. And that's how these other nations are. All right. So called African, so called East Indian. All right. Japanese, Chinese, Korean, all right, the Samoan, the, the, the Tongan, all right, the uh, the uh, Asian, the the Pacific Island, Pacific, uh, the Island, uh, Pacific, all them, man. He don't care about none of y'all, man. Y'all are just uh, 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 vanities, all right. Y'all are nothing to the Most High, Yahweh. Okay, this is the. Uh, Right here in the NLT, it said, no, for all the nations of the world are but a drop in a bucket. They are nothing more than dust on the scale. He pick up the whole earth as though it were a grain of sand. See? So these, these nations are considered of a drop in a bucket. And ain't nobody worried about uh, 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 carrying a bucket full of water. Ain't nobody worried about a drop that comes in a bucket, man. You ain't trying to recollect and feel sorry for that drop that came from that bucket. I don't know. All right, the preach up to that is um, second address, stick in um, uh, 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou made it Lord of all thy creatures, which is an Adamite. All right, which were uh, Israel before there was Israel. All right, of him come we all. Right, all the nations. All right, everybody come from, and the people all of whom thou hast chosen. All right, the Israelite. All right, because we were chosen going through the lineage and going through the uh, to the promise. All right, we, we are the offering of uh, Jacob. Change the name to uh, Israel. We are the uh, children. Of, we are the chosen. Okay, all this have it ain't talking about no other nation. All right, the Arab didn't, didn't come to chosen none of them. All right, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou made it the world for our sake. All right, the world was made for the Israelite sake, man. No other nation. Okay. It just so happened that we're on the bottom right now, all right? But soon, the table will be turned, all right? We're going to be on top, and everybody else is going to be on the bottom, okay? Verse 56, as for the other people which ought to come of Adam, all right? Thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto fiddle, all right? What is fiddle? Fit. <laughs> The libel, especially as ejected from the mouth. See? So that's how the other nations are, are look at. They're as 
fit on the ground. You ain't worried about that fit. All right, you fit and you keep your day, you walk about your day. You ain't worried about, damn, I fit on the ground the other day. I wonder how they holding up. Nah. But that's how, how much I was trying to look at you other nature, man. At fit, at fiddle, okay? And had likened the abundance of them unto a drop that fall from a vessel, all right? So y'all other nations were like a drop that fall from a, a vessel with like a bucket or anything. And that's just like what it's saying in Isaiah 40 and 15, all right? And now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathen, all right, which are the other nations, all right, anything outside of Israel, that included so-called white people, all right, they're heathen, all right, and they're at nothing, all right? But you got niggas want to big up Esau, man. They still love the damn motherfucker, man. And he, and he, man, all, man, I, <laughs> here it is, 2022, y'all niggas still, uh, uh, worried, uh, worried about, uh, Esau being the kingdom of heaven, man. He could be on the bottom where he rightfully throw, man. For all the atrocities, the iniquity, all right, the abomination he had done to us, man. He, man, fuck no, all right? And now, O oh Lord, behold these heathen, which have ever been reputed at nothing, all right? What's the word reputed mean? Thought, the pose, generally believed to exist or be something uh, specified, but not definitely the case, Okay. So it's known that they they're nothing. All right, other nations are nothing, man. Have begun to be lord over us, right? Like I said, we're on the bottom right now because they're ruling right now. All right, they're on top. Okay, like I said, pretty soon all that shit gonna change. Okay, and to devour us, but we thy people whom thou hast called thy firstborn. Thy only begotten and thy fervent lover are given into their hand. All right. If the world now be made for our state, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? Right. Because I just was like, hey, is we, is we the children of Israel and, and, and the world was made for us. How come we're on the bottom? How come we're suffering? And you inquire how long is it going to take? All right. But you read up uh, at the beginning of the chapter, it said that for Esau, it's the end of the world, and Jacob, the beginning of it, that follows, all right? Because right now, this is the Esau world. It's the Esau kingdom right now, all right? We are uh, regarded as nothing in, 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 uh, in his rulership right now. So why would he be uh, uh, put on a pedestal and regarded as something in the kingdom of heaven, all right? That everything will be changed up. I think that was the end of the chapter. Yep. So he was inquiring, like, you know, how long it's gonna, how long it's gonna last? All right. And pretty soon, it, it, it's about to be over with. All right. I just wanted to bring that out. That hey, you other nation are nothing, man. They only dealt dealt with the children of Israel. Um, what's that? In a song. Psalm 1, 100 and... What is that? 100 and... That's a good stretch I can use real quick. Psalm 148 and um, 14, he also adopted the horn of his people, all right, the power, the praise of all his things, even the, of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Pray ye the Lord, how about sound shot, right? Because we're near unto the uh, Heavenly Father, all right? Not the other nation, all right? Which is, uh, what is that, Deuteronomy 7? Deuteronomy 7 and 6. 
Yeah, Deuteronomy 3rd, but thou art a holy people unto the Lord and Havon's outside thy power. The Lord and Havon's outside thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the faith of the earth. And how how that fit that God love everybody? All right, he don't love all the nations, okay? We are, are, are special unto the Most High, man. We are regarded as uh, 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 holy and a theme higher than the other nations. Verse 7, the Lord how much house I did not set his love upon you, all right? See, he only loved us. Nor showed you because ye were more in number than any people, but ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord how much house I love you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your father, all right? From Abraham unto Isaac unto Jacob, changed to Israel, all right? That we part of that oath, okay? Brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hands of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, all right? From our captivity, all right? So he only loved us. And he only dealing with us, all right? I'm trying to find another scripture I'm really looking for. And thong. Yep, Psalm 147 and 20. I'm going to read up. It's Psalm 147 and uh, 19. He chose his word unto Jacob, all right, to the children of Israel, his statute and his judgment unto Israel, all right. He had not dealt with though any nation. See, so he's not dealing with the other nations. So it's for you not to uh, deal with any other nations. That's a sign that you don't love them. You don't care about them. All right? So it's, it's a separation between uh, uh, the other nation of Israel. He loved Israel because he only dealt with the uh, children of Israel. See, the law that the commandment was only given to the children of Israel, and no other nation. So that's the only one that he loved and cared about. We read Deuteronomy 7 and 6 uh, down to, uh, what was that, 8? All right? It's that he had not dealt with any nation, and as far as, as for his judgment, they have no, they have not known them. Pray ye the Lord, how about South Shore? So, he, the other nation don't know the Lord. All right, cause he only dealing with the children of Israel. All right, and the NLT that he has revealed his word to Jacob. His decree and regulations to Israel. He had not done this for any other nation. They do not know his regulations. Praise the Lord. See? They don't know the regulation of the Lord, man. Which is the law, statutes, and commandments. All right, um, trying to think of what else. All right, because the salvation is only up to the Jews, man. Now, hold on, let me get, um, what is that, Roman? Hey, it's all I hate it. Well, Jacob. Roman 9 and 13. Okay. It says, As it's written, Jacob have I love, all right, with the children of Israel, but Esau have I hated. Okay. 
And you didn't say he uh uh love Ethan a little less than Israel. No, he he ate he hate uh Ethan, man. Alright. Another scripture to show you that he loved one nation of people and, and hate another uh group of people. And and I'll tell you that in the word of the scripture, I love Jacob but I rejected Ethan. Alright? So Ethan was rejected. Okay. Go ahead and tell you that and, and 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 go into that in the book of Hebrews. All right. Um now we can get um uh, salvation unto the truth of the truth. It's the masters. Or in John, like it. All right, John. Let's start at the. I thought at nineteen. All right. Okay, this is the cut to the other nations to believe that God loves them, and, and, and He don't. Okay, it's John four and nineteen. The woman said unto him, Sir, I for thee that thou art a prophet. Our father worship in this mountain, and he say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Right, because the other nations. Uh, over a uh, generation and over a uh, period of time, they uh, thought to believe that they were the children of Israel, all right? Because you go back into the history, all right? When uh, the king of uh, Assyria, I'm not mistaken, took the children of uh, the northern kingdom out of the land and replaced it with the uh, heathen nation, all right? And over time, they thought to believe that they were the children of Israel, but they're not, all right? And that's why you have a cutter. Right, we're about to read it on read, which means that the Lord was speaking, okay? And should just further prove that salvation is not uh, given to uh, all the nations, all right? Only to the children of Israel. And that further prove that he only loved the children of Israel, okay? He comes to save a, a, a group of people, and, and the other, and you come to save somebody, all right? And you see somebody else that need help too, or uh, whatever, and you don't do that, that's a sign that you don't love them. All right? In verse 20, our father worshiped in this mountain, and he say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. The house shall stand to her, woman, believe me, the hour cometh, when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the spot right, because she was an Israelite. That's why he said not in this mountain or in Jerusalem. All right? You worship, you know not what. We know what we worship for salvation of the Jews, all right? Only to the children of Israel. It's, you know, on a deeper level, it's, uh, the elect of Israel, all right? That's why it's the verse uh, in NLT, that you Samaritan know very little about the one you worship, while we Jews know all about him, for salvation comes through the Jews, all right? Now, regular 23, but the hour cometh, and now is when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, but the Father thinketh thus to worship him right with the elect, and that's now. All right? He's not looking for uh, 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 the other nation to worship him. All right? He ain't, he ain't checking for them. Okay? The how is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. All right, because you got to remember who the Lord came for. All right, Matthew 1 or in 2. Matthew 1 and uh, 21. And she shall bring forth a son, thou shalt call his name Yahweh, for he shall save his people 
from their stems, all right? And here's the protective pronoun, all right? Look at the word his, all right? Oh, I forget. Alright, pronoun the uh his genotype of he is the originally uh what's the let's just search it regular ones. They belong to or associated with a male person or animal previously mentioned or easily identified. Okay. That they're, they're belonging to, all right? And who the house tribe came out of, all right? Came out of the uh, tribe of Judah from the uh, nation of Israel, all right? So he was going to come and save his uh, people, all right? And he belonged to those group of people, not to any other nation, okay? So you people um, out there talking about he loved everybody. That's not the case. Okay? That is absolutely false. That's a false doctrine. All right? That's a, a damn old heresy. Okay? So, you know, I did a video uh, yesterday speaking about that. All right? They start bringing a damn old heresy, man. In verse 22, now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was broken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son. They shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted God with us. All right, how with us, right? Because you go back into the history, all right? I believe uh, Hosea, all right? And he had the uh, older woman, or he, or not mistaken, with that uh, prostitute had a son called Lord Me, all right? Yep, all day one. I'll start at the top. Look at the word of the Lord. The how much I was trying that came was the whole day the son of Biri in the day of uh, Isaiah. All right, Jotham, Ahab, and Hezekiah, king of Judah, and the day of Jeroboam, the son of Joash, king of Israel, the beginning of the word of the Lord, and how about the Hosea and the Lord, how to Hosea, go take unto the wife of, of Hordom, all right, basically a prostitute, and, and, and children of Hordom, for the land had committed great whoredom departing from the Lord of Howard, right? It was a symbolic to show that the children of, of Israel had uh, went to go worship other gods. So by Hosea so getting a prostitute, it was symbolic, all right? So he went and took Gomer, the daughter of Devlion, which conceived and bare him a son. And the Lord Yahweh said unto him, Call his name Jezreel for yet a little while, and I will avenge the blood of Jezreel upon the house of Jehu, and will cause the thief the king of, of the house of Israel. And it shall come to pass at that day that I will break the bow of Israel in the valley of Jezreel. All right, it's the point. And she conceived again and bear a daughter. And Yahweh said unto him, Call her name lo for I will have no more mercy upon the house of Israel, which is uh, La'ah Kathah. Or, oh, no, no, let's, let's look it up. It's my theme, daughter, her name. 
which is La'a, Waka, Waka Ma'a, alright, yeah, no mercy, La'a, Waka, uh, Kathak, or Kamat, or Kama, alright, La'a, Ra Kama, alright, no mercy. All right, symbolic name given by the prophet of day to the daughter, right? Because <laughs> no mercy was shown to the children of Israel, man. Going to the captivity and slavery and all that, man. So you got to go through the history and understand why um, these things happen. All right? Why would I have no mercy, no more mercy upon the house of Israel? But I would literally take them away because it got, so, it got to the point where children of Israel kept on going off and going to slavery and then uh, getting right and then uh, getting delivered and it got to the point where the Lord was like, I ain't doing it no more. Alright? It said, but I will have mercy upon the house of Judah. It will save them by the Lord Yahweh, their power. It will not save them by bow, nor by sword, nor by battle, by horses, nor by horsemen. Now when she had wings, uh, Lo U Hama, she conceived and bear a son. Then said Yahweh, call his name Lo Ami with uh, and uh, Hebrew La I am not my people. All right, La I is uh, no or not, and then I am the people. When you are not my people, I will not be your power. Okay, so that's why going to. Back to um, Matthew, all right. Again, Matthew one and twenty um, two, twenty three. Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted the how with us, all right. Because the house child came down, and he had to die on the cross to bring us back to the heavenly Father. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I made this video longer than I expected to, but hey, hopefully um, the message was uh, conveyed and was edifying. And with that, I want to thank Shalom.